Hey guys, I'm Dylan from Star Wars Prop Shop, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a jump pack from Star Wars Battlefront. Also guys, I forgot to record some of the building process in this video, so if you see random video or things just finished, that's why. So the materials you are going to need for this build are cardboard, wooden dowel, or just like thin PVC. Uh, scissors or a box cutter, a hot glue gun, some duct tape, and I was going to use some ping pong balls for the little ball part on the thrusters of the jump pack, but I couldn't find any more, so I just decided to use these half eggshells I found in my basement. First, you're going to want to cut out the basic shape of the jump pack. Now, I didn't include measurements uh, in this build because it really just depends on the size of your back. Like, for me, I just kind of eyeballed it and thought it was a good size, so I kind of just stuck with that. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is make two of these. One with the whole gap for the grill at the bottom, and one without it to be placed on your back. So just to get it over with, I went ahead and sanded off the edges of the eggshells, and then just went ahead and glued them together. Now, this is the part of the video that I forgot to record. Sorry about this, guys, but I went ahead and just glued on the edges around the jump pack except for the bottom and then glued on the grill that I had made. To make the grill I just cut out nine squares and then cut the edges of them off so they could be placed at an angle equally onto the jump pack and then I just put in three um, triangles in between each of the little squares that I cut uh, to have them spaced apart evenly. Next I cut out four long strips of duct tape and taped them to themselves and then just taped it and glued it to the back of the jump pack to make the straps so you can wear it. And then I just glued these two triangles for detail on the sides of the jump pack next to the grill. And then I started to just use a ruler to measure out the main like box thing in the middle I guess. Then I traced this shape onto a separate piece of cardboard and just cut that out and glued it onto the jump pack to add more depth and have it stand out. Then I cut out four simple trapezoids and just glued them together to make the base and start of the box in the middle. Then I got the smaller trapezoid and just traced that onto another piece of cardboard and then drew around it to make the little outer casing thing for it. And then I just made four of those and put them along the top as you can see right there. Then I just got some thin pieces of cardboard and put them all along to make the vertical lines. And then I glued that down onto the jump pack along with a little circle I added for detailing just like on the jump pack. Once that was all over with, I got the eggs that I glued together and then put a folded piece of cardboard over it to be the protector of the ball and the thrusters. Then I got some everyday medicine cups that are just there in your house, you know, and the top of a spray paint can, and I glued those together and then glued that onto the balls of the thrusters to make the jets. And now it's time for the painting. I use Rust-Oleum Metallic Finish Silver for the body, or just the main part of it just because I think rust is kind of like the best for actual shiny, like, finishes. Once the main body coat of silver was finished, Jake helped me out by spraying black all over it to give a weathered finish and look to the jump pack. And for the black we used Krylon Fusion. Now onto the handle on the top of the jump pack. I got a wooden dowel that I just had laying around and cut out a little triangle piece so that I could fit it into there and then I cut out four for each side of the dowel. Now here's another skip guys, sorry about that. We basically made four of the triangles on each side 
and then once we had that glued together, we glued it onto these other triangles that we cut out as a makeshift thing with the three little glue stick things on each side. Alright, now we moved on to the final outer casing. Now what we're going to do with this is we are going to have this part be on the front and then these side parts fold over onto the well, sides of the jump pack so that it will have a smoother and cleaner finish than just having the cardboard be stuck onto the sides. Then we just went ahead and cut out the outer casing for the jump pack. For this we used a box cutter, but if it's easier for you, then you can also use scissors, it really doesn't matter. You could even use an X-Acto knife if you wanted to, but we just had a box cutter on hand and that's what we used. Then we started to glue the side panels together from the inside and also use some duct tape to hold it together while it was drying. Now, you can keep the duct tape on the inside if you want, but even if you are going to do that, I would just make sure you take off the parts on the outside to hold it together as well. Another painting session. For this, we used the Krylon Shortcuts Green that we just found at a like local store with just some simple green paint. And again, we're just using the silver and black paint to do some weathering. As you can see here, we did way too much silver on the weathering and had to wipe some of it off. Alright, so now you can see now that we have the wooden dowel handle piece, that it fits right there onto the outer casing of the jump pack. Now all we need to do is just glue that on and then glue on the casing and we're done. Whoops, almost forgot we actually have to paint the handle, so we just use the same silver rust -Oleum to paint over the handle. And then use the same Krylon Black Fusion to go do some light weathering. Now that all the parts are fully weathered and painted, we are going to glue the handle onto the outer casing, and then glue the outer casing onto the jump pack. And last but not least, we are going to put glue all along the inside of the outer casing and glue that to the base of the jump pack. Alright guys, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial on how to make a jump pack from Star Wars Buffer 1. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe and comment what you want me to build next. I'm Dylan from Star Wars Prop Shop and until next time, happy building.